everyone, it's Caitlin, otherwise known as Glamorisa16, and this is my futuristic look, so please thumbs up this video to keep me in the competition, and let's get on with the look. The first thing I'm going to do, as always, is apply a base to my eyes, and I'm going to bring this all the way up to my brow bone. Next, I'm going to spray the bristles of my brush just so that the pigment that I'm going to be applying um, will adhere better. So I'm using this navy loose eyeshadow and I'm going to be applying it to my lids with a patting motion to prevent fallout. Once most of the eyeshadow is focused on my lid, I'm going to start bringing it up into my crease area so that it will make the look a little bit more dramatic. Then I'm applying a black eyeshadow to my lids just to emphasize the gradient effect. And now it's time for the time consuming part of this look. So I'm going to start by taking my brush and lining it up with the edge of my brows and then grooming my brows to create an angular shape. And this is going to be an outline for our look, so I'm just going to take the eyeliner and draw it midway down my nose. Now I'm just sticking a piece of tape right above my brow, but in the same alignment as my brow shape, and I'm just going to start by making that line. And now I'm just beginning to fill in the lines right over my brow, and then I'm just going to Bring a line and slowly bring it down to that end point of the line that I made on the bridge of my nose and fill that in as well. I completed the geometric shape by also making the tape down towards the other side of my brow and filling that in. And now I'm just going to begin lining my eyes like I normally do with any look. And I'm just using the same liner and winging it out. To make this look even more edgy and dramatic, I'm just bringing that liner down below my lower lash line and connecting it with the line that I made on my top waterline. And now I'm just going to begin by extending the line of my inner corner and bringing it all the way down to that end point that I made on the bridge of my nose and curling it over the edge. And you can kind of be creative with this and make any sort of shape you want and just do the exact same side on the other eye. And to complete the liner for this edgy futuristic look, I'm just going to make it a double wing and kind of curling it over, almost like the shape of a horn of an animal. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply a volumizing black mascara to my top and lower lashes. And finally, I'm going to apply a set of false lashes to my eyes to totally amp up the look. Now onto the rest of the face, I'm going to be applying this matte natural shade of blush to my cheekbones with an angled brush. And then using the tip of that same brush, I'm just going to be contouring my cheekbones, which is going to add a more angular shape to this look. Then I'm going to finish it off by applying a plum-colored lipstick to my lips. Then I'm going to extend my cupid's bow to make this look more sharp and defined, and then apply a light pink-colored lip gloss to the center of my lips. To edge up this look, I'm going to be applying some rhinestones that I personally painted with nail polish and I'm going to begin applying them right on the edge of the line that I created above my brow. In our chemistry, yes. I'm a woman. And girls in the future do not just stop there with the three-dimensional aspects of the look, so I'm going to begin by applying these that I also painted, which are little circles, and I'm just going to be applying them in just a random shape onto the side of my cheek. And to make it look more complete, I'm just going to be applying a few of them onto the other side and then we're all done with a futuristic look. Please support me by liking this video below and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!